It's Derby Day this Sunday. Two humongous derbies. Uh, Sunderland versus Newcastle and Man City at home versus Man United. Did you forget? I didn't know it was at home. I wasn't sure it was at home. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, first of all, out of these two, there are loads of big derbies. North London derby, uh, West London derby. Uh, loads of them. Which, which one's your one? Which one's, what's one's for? Wim okay. MK, MK, MK yeah. Bonds, Wimbledon. Th that's not a derby. Uh, let's not even get into that. <laughs> different, yeah. different video. It's not a that's derby, a it's not a classico. <laughs> it's an video. abomination. Okay. Out of these two, which one is a bigger derby, bigger game this weekend? Go for it. Sunderland versus Newcastle, without a shadow of a doubt. Not, uh, look, if you, it's more important based on what's a, what's a What's stake. the criteria then? It's just uh, the the vitriol amongst the fans. <laughs> it's all about hatred. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the genuine yeah. hatred is is a, is it, it, the, people punch horses <laughs> in during this game. You have to give some context to that. Oh well, <laughs> it, a, a, that. a Newcastle fan got done for punching a horse uh, outside the ground during the kind of mini riots yeah, that yeah, happened. Yeah. And people don't punch pu horses. I, I'm a vegetarian. Don't punch horses. That's bad. Yeah. But that such is the kind of. And as a meat eater, don't punch horses. No, no one yeah, punches anyone. Yeah, no one. But such is the kind of the the, the powder keg type <laughs> fixture that that, that game mm -hmm. is. Um, it, it has to be. It has to be uh, bigger than than the Mank Derby. Yeah, I think. Do so. you agree? I, I totally agree with that. And I, I think, and uh, I don't know, maybe uh, I don't. I don't think there's anything particularly controversial about that. This Liverpool will always be bigger for United. I just think if you, if you look at the, the history of that fixture, the way it's still felt, you know, these are the two biggest clubs, Liverpool and United, in in, in the history of of English football. Uh, at least for the moment, and um, you know the, the the Manchester derby is something, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't think you can compare. And the fact, of course, that Newcastle and Sunderland are both swimming around there, and you know, in in, in real trouble. I mean, if if Manchester City or Manchester United missed the Champions League, of course, it would be a, a huge inconvenience. But it's something they could easily come back from next season and something I think they would come back from next season if Newcastle or, or Sunderland go down you know not only do they miss out on an incredible amount of money with the new TV deal uh, kicking in but you know it might be pretty hard to come back up yeah I mean well let's we'll, we'll get to Sunderland and Newcastle in a bit more depth let's talk about um, Man City versus United so here's a question Le uh, Man City are 12 points off Leicester and and Man United even more so um, but you expect Man City to be at least top two at the start of the season. So out of these two teams, well, at this moment in time, which side is having more of a disastrous season? Uh, I think United, because City are still in the Champions League. And the Champions League could cover a multitude of sins, couldn't it? Even if they got to the final, you know, that, that would be such an incredible step forward for City. And, you know, I hate using the word brand, but we're going to have to use it. If they're looking to grow the brand internationally, then getting in the last four or even the final of the, the, the Champions League even would be they, absolutely huge. Even if, like, say they get to the final of the Champions League. And miss out and on the miss Champions, out on the Champions League. League. So Pep Guardiola has to manage in the Europa League in his first season. Then what? Is it, can he can go, can we just... <laughs> one more season, one more year, one more year. But, but they've, they've, they've got such a, such a. That good is disastrous, though, for, for Man City. Oh, it, I know that be, big money, they're fine and all that. But would, as a club, it would be a, growing the brand. It's it, not good enough, is it? But that's one season. It, w it would be a real pain. There's, there's, there's no doubt about that. But you know, you're looking at um, the resources they've got, the facilities they've, they've built uh, around the city of Manchester Stadium, which I think is something that's not really touched on enough. What they do with the community, the co improved infrastructure of the club. Then you look at the players they've got. Then you look at their potential to reinvest. It would be a big inconvenience, but just an inconvenience, not a disaster. Which of these two teams are going to finish higher in the league? Man City yeah. will, but I'm not 100% convinced. Company's been injured. Otimendi. Mendy. Did you see how wide my eyes went? His friend. <laughs> Otimendi. Yeah, yeah. Your team yeah. let us off. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, who cares? Um, yeah, both injured. And, uh, That's com incredible. Com company 40, uh, is 14th. Calf injury since he's been there. Yeah. Uh, and also, the, the other stat I was reading was mm. that uh, when he's not in the team, 156, uh, sorry, when he, when he, hang on, let me get it, when he isn't in the team, uh, they concede a goal every 70 minutes. When he is in the team, they concede a goal uh, every 156 minutes. Wow. So, 
he makes a huge difference, which makes a huge difference in this game. Can I ask right? a question? How shocking is it that a club the size, in terms of financial clout, the size of Man City, have to rely so heavily on one player? That, that, that one player, is presumably, is Sergio Aguero. No. <laughs> I, well, I, think I can't if, believe if, I just didn't get if, it. I was like, what? Have you heard my question? Do you know where this conversation is going? If, if, he, if, he goes, if he goes out of the team, yeah. they're in massive trouble. He makes a huge difference. Then. I mean, Aguero is the best player in the Premier League, uh, so, so that's normal. Yeah, but they're think, rubbish but, without company. They're so reliant on company mm. that uh, it's bizarre to me. Well, they have, they have at least tried to plot the succession there. Yeah. Because, you know, I, I think... Any of those centre-backs that are there now, can they... Say company left, had to retire, whatever. Can any of those fill those shoes long term? Are I mean, they players I, that can develop? I think Otamendi will get there. Um, it's interesting, I think, seeing Otamendi. Think it's too late for Di Michaelis? <laughs> 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 I, I think it's um, funny because Otam Otamendi and Mangala obviously play together e extensively at Porto. And seeing them there and then seeing them here. It's kind of like that feeling of, you know, when you're a kid and you come out of the cinema in the middle of the day, you're like, whoa, <laughs> like that. The, the, the intensity is so great. They're like, wow, it wasn't like this when we were, you know, battering Rio Ave 5-0 or, yeah. or, or, or Tondela 6-0. It's, it's totally different and they've really, really struggled to adjust. So with those two players out, uh, what's your score prediction? Okay. Um, I still think uh, City's intrinsic quality is greater than that of United. Therefore, I think City will win and finish top three. Score prediction? 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. I think yeah. United will bore City's front line to death and, <laughs> and Martial will, will uh, snatch a goal. Uh, I think it'll be 1-0 to United. 1-0. I've got for Bordeaux, 1-0. Just think it'll be time. Because I don't think United are very good and I think City mm. losing those two centre-backs will, uh, will make a difference. And while we're on the subject of not very good... Uh, let's move on to Newcastle versus... <laughs> Seamless! Oh, nice, Russell, nice. Uh, this <clears> is a huge game. Um, 17th versus 19th, uh, one point in it. Um, Sunderland, six wins on the trot uh, against Newcastle. And the, was it the last four managers their second game has been against? Uh, has it been in that, in that Tyneside derby? It turns around this time. Benitez gets his, it's his second game and uh, he's playing against Sunderland. Will, will it happen the other way around? I, I think it will. I, I think uh, Benitez has had uh, a few days to work with the players, which I, I think is very important. Um, it's a squad that, you know, Probably should be too good to go down, but considering so? considering that there's not a lot in it, there's there's really not a lot I'm in not it. Sure, uh, especially especially with the injuries, I think um, you, you sense there's you know a lack of personality, um, and that's something that Benitez can really address, which I, I think I think will be good enough to get them over the line in this game. I'm not saying if they win this, they'll definitely stay up, but obviously it gives them a, a really good chance. Yeah, uh, we, we asked you guys, where is it? We asked you guys uh, if you thought that Sunderland or Newcastle would stay up. 36%, which was the highest, uh, said that Newcastle would stay up. 8% um, said both, um, both would stay up, which makes you think one of these two are going down. So uh, for you guys, which one is going down? Newcastle. I'm going to say Newcastle actually, mainly because I don't think Benitez has had any managerial experience in dealing with this type, these type of problems. Maybe wrong, but it's largely looking at the encyclopedia. As he says. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. I was looking for the movements in the eyes, flickers in the eyes. Uh, uh, right, at the start of the career, wasn't it? Relegation battle with Extremadura. Which, which, um, on, well, they went, they went down. They went down. Well, there you go. <laughs> the <laughs> one, the one time, the one time he's had to manage a it's not in his locker. A relegation threatened club. He's gone down. In my experience, is only managing teams that are on the brink of something special or you know failing in, in delivering that final step over the line to glory. So I think Allardyce is much more equipped to deal with this kind of pressure. I think Newcastle's squad is better than Sunderland's. That's why I'm not sure, but I think Newcastle will go down. Really? I, I, would, I would say I think that's, that's the difference that... Newcastle have definitely got the better manager, even though I take your point about, about context. He can get them organised really quickly. And all the things that we said that Allardyce would do, like get them sorted at the back, I mean, their defence is terrible, is. especially on the road. Well, and I, I more but, goals in the first 15 minutes than any other team as well, so they start badly. Which we, in a game like this where it's just frenetic, isn't it, in those first 15 minutes? That could that could be huge. Yeah, it, it, it could be. And you know what, though, I would really, and I'm, I'm sure Rafa would love to stick the boot in because, of course, he's not especially fond of him. But I, I think Allardyce's culpability in this is is, is limited. I, I just don't think he's got 
enough to work with, really. I, I, I just don't think... I, I think if they went down, you know, normally when a club goes down, uh, people like you guys think, oh, can we feast on their players? Can we, can we have that player? Can we have this player? Yeah. And they've gone down. And there's, there's a few from either side. I don't think there's that many from Sunderland. Defoe, and that's probably about it, isn't it? Oh, would, you, would, you, would you have Defoe? No, I wouldn't have taken him back. But I mean, uh, uh, really, really, you, you support a title chasing team, so it's, yeah. it's, it's different. Well, I'll take Wynaldum, maybe Mitrovic mm. at Spurs. Really? As a backup, as a backup to Kane, I would, yeah. So, uh, score predictions, guys. Flav. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I still don't know, I just don't know. S uh, Sunderland to nick it. 1 0. I'm, I'm going for Sunderland as well. I think that they've you say Benitez has had a week. Allardyce had two weeks to uh, to get this right, so they. Um, but he's, he's not going to work for the last six months, is he? It's true, but I think I still I also think Sunderland will stay up. So I think this will be a Sunderland win, and it will be a two-one victory. Well, the two, out, scoring one two out of three ain't bad, as Meatloaf said, but he didn't say it was brilliant, <laughs> did he? I'm going to go for a Newcastle victory. I and, and, oh, no, it's a horrible one, that, isn't it? <laughs> um, I, I think they're just about going to stay up, and I think they're going to beat the Nackhams three-one. I think it's going to be a draw. Have you just joked? No, I've changed my uh, Okay. Uh, let's know what you think. Can I have a second prediction <laughs> as well? You can let us know your predictions in the comments below. Which one is a bigger derby as well? Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to Wall Street.